do. So I'm going to actually introduce Jeff Dalby, who is the director, Israel Office Director of the Zionist Organization of America, which has been around for more than 100 years. And Jeff Dalby is going to introduce our next panel. Thank you very much, Jeff. I just want to say Jeff has been an integral part of organizing this evening and is a partner, a partner not in crime, but a partner in these good things that we're putting on here. And I do want to thank him uh, personally in front of everyone here. Thank you very much, Jeff. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Ari. And uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, this is... Uh, Given the Chag and what everybody's doing on the Chag, Simchat Beit HaShoeva, and etc., uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, we hope that this is going to be a very informative evening. Uh, before introducing our esteemed panelists, I would just like to take a quick minute to thank a few people and briefly comment on Regavim. First, in absentia now, I would like to thank Minister Edelstein for taking the time out of his busy schedule, and I spoke to him and spoke to his chief of staff personally. It was a very, very busy schedule, uh, so I want to thank him personally, if we can all convey those thanks to Minister Edelstein uh, for uh, addressing us just now. Uh, it was really uh, fantastic having him here. I'd also like to thank Ari Briggs, who is the mastermind of this whole operation. I'd also like to thank Jan Sokolovsky, Daniel Tauber, Amichai, to the entire Rigabim staff, and all our wonderful volunteers, and, uh, oh yeah, my wife too. Uh, thank you, Shelley. Without all of you, this evening and tomorrow's trip would not have been possible. A few years ago, I was approached by Regavim's Yehuda Eliyahu and Bitzalel Smotrich to consult about a number of issues. At that time, I had never heard of Regavim. Since then, I have learned so much about what it does, and it does so much with a relatively small but highly efficient, dedicated, and very knowledgeable staff. I'm uh, just curious, just by a show of hands, uh, how many people here have uh, heard of the children's classic, uh, The Little Engine That Could? Virtually everybody. Well, it looks like we've all dated ourselves. Uh, the little engine that could, that little blue engine, really very, very much exemplifies uh, Regavim. It is really the little, not the little blue engine that could, but the little blue and white engine uh, that could. Uh, they are uh, combating uh, organizations uh, who are trying to, let's say, undermine the Zionist enterprise to the tunes of tens of millions of not shekel, not dollars, but euros. And Regavim is fighting the good fight, and uh, I have to say, kol hakavod, where's uh, Yehuda, where is uh, Bitzalel, if they're here, thank you so much for fighting the fight for all of us. Regavim, <laughs> Regavim does its amazing work behind the scenes. Below the radar screen, as we say, that is one of the greatest assets of Regavim, but it is also one of the biggest deficits. Tonight's forum and tomorrow's trip inaugurates the effort to get the word out about Regavim to the Anglo community here and in Chul. This is your mandate. You have now been deputized. As I have been telling people, I've been telling everybody, if we do not put Regavim on the map, there may not be much of a map chas v'shalom to speak of in the future. Now, before I introduce our panelists, I would just like to simplify matters a little. <laughs> this this is the Negev. Down here, let's say at the 70% level, we have 800,000 dunam, illegal takeover, rampant lawlessness. Regavim is going 
to draw the red line. On that note, I would like to introduce our first panelist. A few months ago, I attended a Likud Anglos gathering at the Knesset, and as meaningful as the conversations with the MKs and the ministers were, the highlight for me was a presentation by our next panelist, Dr. Seth Fransman. I was so fascinated by his presentation that I went over to him and asked him to send me a copy by email of the presentation. And I have been studying it since, Seth. Uh, you have given me my homework. Thank you so much. A little bit about Seth. Seth was born in Maine. He received his undergraduate deg degree from the University of Arizona, University of Arizona or Arizona State? University of Arizona. He received his PhD from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in 2010. And he is a fellow at the Jerusalem Institute for Market Studies. Dr. Fransman has conducted research and worked for the Joint Distribution Committee, the Shalem Center, a Shatora, and as a postdoc now at Hebrew University. He is a frequent contributor to the Digest of Middle East Studies. Dr. Fransman also lectures on American culture. His current interest includes the history of the Holy Land, the Bedouin, land laws, Jerusalem and Arab Christians, as a commentator on the current affairs and uh, politics, uh, he attempts to provide new views on old canards, hence his Jerusalem Post column's name, Terra Incognita. He is currently the Jerusalem Post op-ed editor. Dr. Fransman, Dr. the floor is yours.